had to get in the spooky mood. You know, it's October, it's Spooktober. I feel like we, we, we gotta revisit Snakewood, right? Pokemon Snakewood is one of the biggest Let's Plays I ever did on my channel back Let's in... Let's go. When even was that? It was like eight years ago that I last played this on YouTube, and today we're revisiting that Nuzlocke, and we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna beat it. Idea behind this Nuzlocke is that we're gonna actually be playing set mode, but we will be using healing items. I've decided that that's gonna be the strategy. Yeah, June 9, 2013. That's when I started, started this, uh, started this. Pokemon Snakewood. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I figured it'd be fun to do this in October and try to see how far I could get, if I can even beat it. Who knows, we're gonna just give it our best shot here, so. Okay, so they make the character look goofy as hell. What, what's up with, the, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> we got a nice red jacket, some, some solid blue jeans, and just the whitest hair you've ever seen. I think I'm waking up. Suddenly, you are lasered by giant sharks with laser eyes. No, but seriously, you should leave. I, I vaguely remember that part, okay. So, we are not in the back of a truck instead. Little Root Town is just boulders. What is this, a town for, for ants? Please start with Reginald again. I don't know, I mean, I feel like I have to at this point, right? And we basically come over here and there's just some Pokeballs laying around, I remember that. This Pokeball is spinning slowly on its own axis, take it? So that is Baltoy. Uh, over here, this Pokeball is gently spewing out exhaust fumes, take it? That is coughing. And then this one over here, this, this, is, this is Paris, right? A fond old friend of mine, which which is the Paris. So this is the original Mon, Mon we started with in this Nuzlocke. Named him Reginald, I don't know why, and we found a Paris. So there you go. We will <laughs> we will be giving you a nickname. And of course, as is tradition, this is Reginald. Alright, so we take that thing, but the Pokeball is still there. You probably shouldn't steal any more than you already have. After all, you're not a crook, are you? I might be. So we're going to just, I think, just go up this way. And, uh, oh, I didn't have the running shoes yet, my guy just sprints. So, instead of him being chased by the Poochian or the Zigzagoon, he's instead chased by a zombie. And, in the Halloween spirit, we're gonna go fight this zombie. Bruh. <laughs> I guess he says bruh. Bruh. Um, and so, it is in fact a youngster that is now blue. He was green before, and Liam has a boil before. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot that's what that thing's called. So, it's level three. Uh, Reginald's not afraid of no Boilbasaur, I'll tell you what. So we're just gonna give him a little scratch of Rooney. Now, I don't remember if there's changes in terms of, like, the typings on a lot of these alternate forms. Is this just a normal Bulbasaur? Or is he ghost type? Or what the fuck's the deal here? The OG Ballin coming back? That's something I thought about, and when we get to the point where I can get a Ballin, I really hope I get it as my first encounter. If not, we might have to make a Ballin clause. Because all my homies fucking love Ballin. The zombie crumbled into dust, so by defeating his Boilbasaur, he then just dies. Just straight up fucking killed that guy. We've known each other for years, what's wrong? Uh, okay, so that's the deal, it, it... My guy, he, he doesn't remember shit, he kinda just like... Slowly throughout the story gets his memory back, that's what it is. Was anyone there, your older brother, my daughter? I don't remember them though. Do you remember anything? No. <laughs> we do talk in this game, so that's kinda something different that... The dialogue isn't horrible. Do you, didn't you even remember the zombie plague? I think I'd remember that, but no. You were there as the zombie. Zombies and their zombie Pokemon tore the town to shreds, right? Now you come to mention, I do remember a zombie Pokemon, but that's about it. Oh, well, I dare say your memories will find their way back to you. Now follow me. We've got to get the nearest safe place before the zombies come back. Pokemon fan picks are wild. Also, what are these guys fucking doing? We're keeping guard that no zombies get in. This Poke Centre is a... <laughs> it's probably the only totally safe place in town. All right, well... I say fuck a safe place, except homeboy over here with the spiked hair looks like he's chilling. You can use their services as much as you like, and it's all free. You never have to worry. This game always feel like an anime to me. <laughs> it is kind of anime-ish. So there's actually like a just a full-on barrier going on over there. This person usually gives you a, a potion, right? Hi, I'm one of the last Pokemon employees. Come with me. Never come with strangers, but she might give you some candy, so we're going with her. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs and stuff. And you're lucky you have this as a promotional item. We get a light potion. Not just a regular, or any type of dark potion, but instead a light potion. Uh, I don't actually remember that shit. Music in the background is childhood summed up. There was somebody on Twitter recently that said Pokemon has, like, the worst music. And I was like, what the fuck? Restores the HP of a Pokemon by 20 points. What a throwback this is, for real. <laughs> um, what's going on over here? Can I buy some shit from you? I think, what is it that you can get... Um, I mean, so I can afford 10 light potions. We definitely need, like, some Pokeballs. We already got one for free. I'm gonna make it five. 
just for now. <laughs> but I don't remember even if the, the start of this game is really too different in terms of when we get our Pokeballs and stuff. But there, one thing I feel like is different is there's more fucking rocks around, right? There's never usually that many rocks. Hello? This guy is, uh... I'm on guard duty, you don't have, don't look tough enough to be let on your own. Hey, fuck you, who is that guy to guard the town? I guess in a zombie apocalypse, someone's gotta be, be on the lookout or whatever. But we have Route 103 over here, I think we have to battle up north and then we get Pokeballs? Unless, it's Helen, but with extra rocks. You know, I think the reason why I named him Reginald originally in my, my Nuzlocke was, I had just, I think just gotten done watching a, a Family Guy episode. Where the guy's like, I got in a drive-by argument, and then he, drive, he like the guy pulls up and he's like, Oh, Reginald! Oh, Reginald! And the Reginald like comes out and he's like, I disagree! I disagree! And then he drives away. <laughs> and I thought Reginald was hilarious, so that's that's the backstory there. Okay, so we got he's actually Birch up here. Uh, he's like this right here. That's a nice tree. Ah, there you are. What are you doing? Even when zombies besiege our homes and our entire families vanish without trace, there's still time for science. I'm like, bitch, this is no time for science. I don't remember a damn thing. My family's probably dead. Uh, take the egg hidden. It's common knowledge that eggs only hatch when taken around with other Pokemon. But what about the parent Pokemon? I don't see any. Do you? I received an egg. Uh, it seems like no one wants to talk about anything else. Yeah, quite. Well, yep, quite. Hmm, quite. Yes, shallow and pedantic. I agree, Birch. Uh, that was a really stupid question. I want you to go find him. Find him? He and my daughter May set off west a few weeks ago to look for the source of the zombie infection. I haven't heard hide nor hair of them since. Why do we need them? Other than the fact that the uh, one's your brother, <laughs> in all caps, and others, my daughter. Your brother's the Pokemon champion. If anyone can beat, the, uh, beat beats back the zombies, it's him. So, and there it lays out the, the storyline for this game, essentially. Uh, we're looking for our brother and stuff, and homeboy's daughter. Go to Petalburg. There may be survivors who... Uh, I saw where they went. What do you be doing while I risk my life? I'll be trying to reconnect the old PC network so that I can try and contact survivors. Yeah, so at least I'm asking the, the pressing questions here. Um, so actually, he didn't even give us Pokeballs. So what the, and also, can I get some fucking running shoes? You know how awful it is to just to have to walk everywhere? Also, hey, hello. Oh, that's one of those evil people, huh? Um, so we have an egg here. What could be in this? I'll have to wait and see. So now we have the option to get Pokeballs. Golden with another seven. Thank you. Uh, I'm just gonna spend the rest of my money on those. We'll get nine of them. All right, what, pick up the hooded girl here. What do you want? So that's our first little taste of the, the evil folks. Oh, and then now she's like, "You're Professor Bitch's new pet trainer." What? <laughs> Got you running his errands with him? <laughs> Has he? <laughs> he must be pretty weak-willed, but I suppose I could use the experience from thrashing you. And so the Nuz the Nuzlocke has officially technically started, and now we have to battle Death Caller question mark times three who has a Sneasel, and that's just a regular old Sneasel. Uh, nothing zombie about that thing. I am probably gonna get fucked here though, even though I have two levels on it. It's Scratch is gonna do a lot. Oh, thank God, I was gonna use Stun Spore, but I was like, maybe I'll get lucky, and it, I did actually, so now I'll be faster. Reginald about to body this Sneasel. Take that. Dumbass Sneasel, come in here with that weak shit. Fuck yeah, that's right, boy. Boy brought a Sneasel to a mushroom fight. That's your fucking first mistake there, partner. All right, and he's done. You got lucky this time. We get $160. I love how the bad guys even give you money. All right, so let's see what we get as our first encounter. It is a fucking C, uh, just a C dot. We hate to see that. C dot, more like hate to see that. <laughs> right. Whatever, we're gonna catch it though. Attaches itself to a tree branch using the top of its head. It sucks moisture from the tree. While hanging off the branch, this the more water it drinks, the glossier this Pokemon's body becomes. This C dot be sucking. Anyway, we're gonna come over here. This guy's getting the good suck from this zombie, it seems. A zombie wants to be a C dot so bad. Uh, hello? Help trainer! Rag! <laughs> I ever beaten this game or was YouTube the farthest you went? YouTube was the farthest that I ever had ever gone. Whoa, this okay, this is a ghost girl Lizzie. And Lizzie looks like she just jumped into a bunch of a, 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 a pool of, of cum or something. Po Poliwag looks like it's got the same issue here. Just kind of some crazy ass eyes. Uh, <laughs> you know, I wasn't going to say that joke, but then I was like, yeah, whatever, you know? And then there's a rot mander. A rotten mander, that is. And Christ, it's probably got a fire move. Um, this is actually not great. I don't think it's going to have ember quite yet. It would be really mean if it did. I'm just going to scratch. Don't have ember, please. Yes, growl. That is good. That's good news. Although, I mean, not great news. 
Yeah, so it's just gonna have Scratch. Because otherwise, I mean, anybody who chooses Reginald in this game gets hacked. Just absolutely allergic to fire. And uh, Ghost Girl Lizzie has been defeated. She doesn't quite look like a ghost. Looks like someone, like, dropped the sprite in paint and then just used the paint bucket tool and just clicked white a bunch of times. You know what I mean? <laughs> the zombie crumbled to dust. Thanks. I, I'd have died reaching Old Ale if it weren't for you. Please take these. I'm done running. Now. Thank God we can run now. I think I remember something. My brother? What was he? What's he saying? Press B. <laughs> what a crappy flashback. He's like, that's the one thing I remember. That rocks look suspiciously like there'd be an item on it, but there is not. Um, there is, in fact, another zombie here, and then another zombie over there. Wow, that lady saw me from about far as shit away. These zombies got eyesight like no other. Okay. So she wants my meat. I'm not going to give you the meat. You've got a gray, Grayville. Uh, so this Grayville looks just basically like a, a red Meryl. Just, no, you know, not too much crazy about that little feller. He's going to defense curl as they do. And it might actually roll out or something. Nope, it's not going to roll out at level four. What am I, who am I kidding? Got two Grayvilles here. I might even heck around and send in Frofro. And then right back into Reggie. <laughs> Meowstic, thank you for the seven. <laughs> Someone cooked this Meryl. Or oh, it's just a very medium rare, or just fully rare, Meryl. The black eyes are a little too spooky for me. I don't know if I can continue playing this game, guys. It seems to be just a little bit too spooky. Anyway, I'm putting seed on in front. Munch, chomp, chew. The zombie is clearly eating, but you don't feel like seeing exactly what. And he doesn't battle us, so that's cool. I like how the berries are still growing just fine. This game is just a bit too spooky for me. <laughs> yeah, I might have to... To make sure I have all the lights on in my house, because I'm going to be a little too spooked. Um, so we're definitely going to grab those berries. And what did I just get? I can't tell you I was paying the least bit of attention. We got a couple of orange berries, so guess what? I'm going to give those to my lads here. Because at this level, orange berries are actually kind of clutch. Meryl was such a disappointment. <laughs> yeah, right? When you thought it was going to be Pika Blue? Fool. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I never make it to these streams. Dan Rich, well, welcome. You made it to this one, and that is a level 9 Rot Mandarin. Holy shit. What? How are they just going to do me like that? At first, I had to fight a level 4 one. Now this one's higher than any of my mons, and it's, it definitely has Ember, and I'm <laughs> probably fucked. Uh, hmm. This is not great. There goes the lock. Yeah, this, this has Ember, and I essentially lose here because... God damn it. I think I bide here <laughs> and let <laughs> let C dot essentially go down so that way I could freely get in um Paris. It hasn't used Ember yet, maybe it doesn't have Ember. We get a bide off after a a clutch berry plus we do half to it. Hot damn. Fuck it, I'm going, to, I'm going into Reginald. I think there is hope for us here, boys. Don't ember me. Yes, perfect. Okay, a couple scr- Oh my god, my scratches aren't gonna do nothing. Oh god. Wait, okay, it definitely would have embered me if it had it. Unfortunately, growling at a Paris is like... I could barely... This Paris could probably barely crawl out of a wet paper bag, but I'm trying my best here and it does just scratch you. Done back with the Nuzlocke that got me into Pokemon on YouTube? What's happening? I'm glad to hear it, my friend. Alright, so we got out of that one. Luckily, that zombie had a shitty Charmander. That, that could have been a lot worse. Kurg. Crumble that bitch into dust, and now we don't want to battle that other guy, so we're going to head on down this way where there's actually an item. Found a broken heart. I, I think that's like the heart scales? What, what the hell are you... What are, uh, one of the many that the plague has left in Hoenn. Interesting. Round of applause for Seed Boy. Yeah, Seed Dot, you've actually maybe earned your spot on the squad. Okay, so we do have one more battle before the city. Ka! Please don't have like a level 10 Charmander that actually uses Bide. Zombie Kid Allen has two Pokemon. Got a Boil the Sword. Love to see it. Why is it called Boil? Hey, gross. It seems gross to me. Anyway, I'm just going to Bide this thing too. You can growl me all you want. It does tackle me. Tackles me again. Guess what? You're attacking. You're tackling a bomb here, idiot. Take this. Ho. Oh. Look at that damage. I'm fucking doing it again. Anfro is taking names out here <laughs> with Bide. Okay, so I got growled a couple times, but we still able to take care of it with two Bides. Look at that shit. Anfro doesn't give a heck. So you not came here to chew bubblegum and kill zombies, and he's all out of fucking bubblegum. And there's plenty of zombies. Uh, anyway, now we got a level six boil, and you've done your work here, buddy. 
Just gotta bite our way till we get ballin'. Agreed. Stop growling. Everybody growls me. My Paris is afraid, alright? From being growled at so much. So yes, in fact, you guessed it. Way more boulders. There's no Pokemon Center, but what there is here is a bag. And it's just a medical kit, which is actually, I think, convenient. You don't have to go into the store. You don't have to go into the actual storefront at all. You just hit up the old bag and boom, we're healed. Uh, I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder. How many people in chat were actually around my YouTube channel when I originally did Snakewood? That's the question. Oh, okay. I was really not expecting that person to battle me, but that's cool. I actually probably should have asked, is there anyone that wasn't around? <laughs> for my original. I appreciate you guys for being around for so long. And Squirtle's name is Oozle, and he looks like Carmel. Which, with a name like Oozle, I feel like they made a, could have made him look a lot more gross. But, that's Oozle there. Oozle looks like he's about to correct you on mispronouncing a Pokemon name. He's like, actually, <laughs> Oozle says, don't you be coming in here with that shit. Claim that boulder is the hated boulder. Okay, release me energy. I'm biting again because this C dot is certainly not afraid. Wait. Boom! I've never killed so many things with bide before. This is actually insane. So, we need to heal, so we're like, hey, bag, what's good? Take that. Wounds of Pokemon, we're completely healed. So, we still have the gyms here. You know, for the zombie apocalypse being here, there's really not much different other than like this one pile of dirt and just more rocks everywhere. Also, you can see your freaking reflection so how, the water's still nice right? we can still drink that there's a gym over here it's impossible to enter the doors are firmly wedged shut by a mess of skulls and stuff okay uh, we come over this way and this ordinary ass NPC is like you're you're Hayden you look like your brother are you going after him he's like I can I, this the white hair is really what does it for me I nodded will you bring peace and put the dead back in their graves yeah sure why not I believe you. your brother and his girlfriend were headed into Pedalberg woods when they passed through here now please Go in and a full on gang of zombies just cruises up on us. Hello? Run for it! I'll hold them off as long as I can. Oh, okay, there was, there was a whole other row of zombies that I didn't actually see at first, but we're just gonna run over this way. We hear our guy back there getting eight, and we go over here, and now boom, they're all de they're all gone. So that was weird. I don't know where the homeboy went, but there's a house over here, and this is usually like Wally's place. What the hell is this? A supply crate, contained potion. Take potion, yes. Now, we can actually take as many as we want from this, and you better believe I'm capitalizing on that. Much, much, much later. Alright, so we're just gonna take that many potions and then go see what the hell's going on over this way, where I really want to catch another Pokemon, because... Don't you scavenge some leftovers of a corpse in this town? I think you do. Or no, that's from one of the chef ones or something. This woman appears to have had her legs gnawed off, which accounts for why her corpse is still on this chair. Will you loot her corpse? Oh, I think you may... There it is. Chat already knows. Uh, so that's pretty freaking neat. We just looted that corpse, and we got leftovers, so... It's actually pretty pog. Alright. That's actually crazy. <laughs> Pokey zombie, this is it. That's it. This game is too spooky for me. <laughs> We've actually made pretty good work in this town. You know, we got a bunch of free potions, we got some free leftovers from that one dead lady, and we have a new route. Alright, well let's see what our first encounter is on this route. We got all the predictions in. It is gonna be a... Z I was the only one that called it. It was Zigzagoon. God damn it. The Dragon Zigzagoon? I forgot about that. Hold up. There's a form of Zigzagoon that, uh, it's called Dragoon or something, right? If it, if you can get your Zigzagoon to last that long, it's actually like a pretty, pretty cool, uh, dragon type. Zigzagoon restlessly wanders everywhere at all times. This Pokemon does so because it's very curious. It became interested in anything that happens to see. Hmm. Interesting. All right, well... We'll be naming this here Chicken. See what we've got going. It's got Pickup. E is bashful. And that's just a good old boy right there. So let's go back and heal up the bag. Let's buy... Kill that one with that. Okay. I'm getting pretty sick of using... Oh, fuck. I almost ran into that zombie. Getting pretty sick of using Bite. I'm not gonna lie. Let's get this Zigzagoon. Oh, wait. This guy doesn't battle. I just ran right in front of this guy in accident. Glug. The zombie looks kind of ill and seems disinclined to attack. Perhaps it's the salty sea air. Hmm. Hmm. That'll be interesting. I, I do like the back sprite of Zigzagoon. He's sitting there like such a good boy. The Twitch homie's the realist. True. Okay, Taylor would have been our Poggy McPogson encounter. Uh, I don't really have a way to fight this thing, too. I do be in mm. here. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> that wasn't great. 
couldn't escape, and it focused energy, and then critted me. So, <laughs> Zigazagoon lasted long enough to kill one thing, and I can't escape. Oh my god. What the fuck? Fuck! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no, this is horrible! Oh god. I have to try to run again. No! <laughs> God damn it, what is going on here? Stop it, Taylo. Get help. Please run. Yes! <laughs> Holy shit. And we're back to Mono Grass. We've had our first death, and of course it was the Zigzagoon. Thing is a dragon later. Dude, man, I probably should have used Bite. It we would have killed it by the time it pecked me to death. You can get an encounter north of Oldale. Oh, true! Hold up, we can get an encounter right over here. Rat 103, we have not done yet, so. Put Reginald because he's a little easier to weaken stuff. Although now at level nine, I'm actually kind of scared to scratch stuff and crit him and kill him because I really need any encounter I can get. But let's see. All right, well let's go over here and let's catch some stuff, huh? First encounter over here. Oh, will it have arms? It's a Poochiana that does not have arms. He has legs. I'm pretty good at determining what and what is not arms at this Twitch channel. That you can subscribe to for the low price of four ninety nine a month and you get all the leg information you need. How about that? And, okay, that didn't have the click. Did, has the click not happened at all? That's actually extremely unsatisfying. Anyway, we got a Poochiana here. At first sight, Poochiana takes a bite at anything that moves. This Pokemon chases after prey until... Uh, wait. The victim becomes exhausted for a second. I had, like, a seizure there. I was like, what the fuck? Where, where was the line? However, it may turn tail. It may turn tail if the prey strikes back. It may turn tail, huh? Hmm. Let's take a look at it. It's a quiet nature. Why is everything quiet around here? Um, so that's not bad. We're gonna get it a couple levels, bef level, be level, levels before we continue. Christ, what was my very, my very first shiny was a Poliwhirl. In the story of that Poliwhirl, I've told many a time, um, but it was actually an interesting one in that I that was like around the time when I found out what um, action replays were. So it was just like the Game Shark of the time, where I set a code which made everything shiny, everything in the wild was shiny. So I was running around looking at shinies, like oh this is awesome, and then I took it out. I, I, I just plugged my regular cart in. I was playing normally, and the very first encounter after that I found was a Poliwhirl I fished up, and it was shiny. And I was so used to seeing everything be shiny that for a second I was like, okay, normal. And then I was like, wait. I looked at the back of my DS. I was like, that's a real shiny. So it was like extremely strange that that happened, but I did catch it, luckily. Biting. So I'm going to go into Reginald here. We're going to stun spore it, unleashes some energy, and now we're going to give you a little scratch scratch. There you go, buddy. Mortal finally level four. Do we have ball and claws? Oh shit, boys, we found another Talo. This one's level eight. Jesus Christ, this is horrible, Hor horrible for us. Oh fuck. I should have definitely grinded up Poochie and I was just, I got impatient. Uh oh. So, Paris most definitely dies to a peck here. <laughs> fuck. I feel like I shouldn't have chose Paris as my starter is why I really hacked this up. Um, Anfro can't really do anything because I only have Bite on the, the thing. Oh god. Damn it. I'm going into Poochiana, I guess. It's level 8 too. I'm, boys, I'm so screwed. Quick attacks. It's going to be like over half. Yep. So... <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, so we're pretty fucked here. I can't use the egg. Bug and grass is an abysmal type for a nuzlocke. It is indeed. I, I feel like we're gonna have to just reset here, boys. This is horrible. So I died to a peck. Mortal. God damn it, man. I send this thing out and hope it quick attacks. Essentially, we we bide <laughs> until we die, boys. We bide until we die. Please don't quick attack. Okay, all right, wait. Navelys, thank you very much for the raid, my friend. Okay, please keep clicking quick attack is what we really, really need to happen here. Um, focus energy. Okay, that's not great at all. Okay, storing some energy here. I do need it to attack me, though. So actually, if you don't crit me, a peck will be okay. I can live that and then do... Okay, there's a peck. <gasps> we live. I don't unleash yet, do I? I do! Anfro, to the rescue! Yes! <laughs> yes, this Bide C dot is 
The best thing that's ever happened to me. That's actually insane. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Good lord. Um, so unfortunately I lost the Poochiana, but... Uh, fuck though. It, I'm still back to just having two grass types. 